Why do we map the ocean? We map the ocean to understand our resources and protect our underwater environment. Australia has the third largest marine territory in the world, around 10 million square kilometers, including waters off Antarctica. That's 4% of the global ocean. In the past, a lead weight attached to a line was thrown over the side of a ship. It had evenly spaced knots, so that when the lead hit the bottom, you could calculate how deep it went by counting the knots. This rope is 36 meters long, or 20 fathoms deep. Today, ocean seafloor depth or bathymetry data are collected from a range of tools, from satellites to airborne and ship sounders. They see the seafloor in the same way bats see where they're going, by pinging sound waves off a point in the distance, in this case, the seafloor, and measuring how long it takes that ping to return. The most common way of collecting data is what we call hull-mounted multi-beam echo sounders. This is the multi-beam gondola mounted on the underside of Investigator. It looks like the space shuttle. It collects seafloor bathymetry data wherever it goes. Did you know that only 20% of the global ocean is mapped in detail? How do you protect and manage what you don't know? If you look at a map of the ocean, you can see bridges and valleys. Many of these have been calculated using maths. They've never really been seen. This is a great map, but it's like having a sketch versus a finished painting. You're missing a lot of the important detail. Governments, scientists, communities, and industry from around the world have committed to producing a complete map of the ocean by 2030. In the last few years, they've already mapped more of the ocean than in the 100 years before. A global ocean map is a good thing. Data on the shape of the seabed helps predict weather and climate, hazard awareness, and setting boundaries for all sorts of ocean activities. We also don't know enough about deep sea ecosystems. We cannot investigate or protect these communities and features if we don't know where they are. So for all these reasons, we need to map the ocean. If you love mapping, the Aus Seabed website and data portal are open to everyone. Log on now to see what the seafloor looks like near where you live.